Kazakhstan completely abolishes death penalty. Here's a summary of the article. Kazakh President Kasim Jomart Takayev has signed amendments on the abolition of the death penalty in the country, the President's press service said on Wednesday. Almaty Kazakh President Kasim Jomart Takayev has signed amendments on the abolition of the death penalty in the country, the President's press service said on Wednesday. On January 2, 2021, Takayev signed a law on ratification of the second optional protocol to the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, with the purpose of abolishing the death penalty. Kazakhstan ratified the protocol with one provision, the right to exercise the death penalty at a time of war for serious military crimes. The article concerning the death penalty as an exceptional measure of punishment is completely excluded from the criminal code. Due to the complete abolition of the death penalty, the Criminal Procedure Code and the Law on the Procedure and Conditions of Detention of Persons in Special Institutions exclude the notion of death penalty execution. In 2003, former Kazakh President Nursultan Nazarbayev signed a decree introducing a moratorium on the death penalty. This post received a score of 55,000, with an up-vote ratio of 90%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. How is life in Kazakhstan? I don't know anything about it. There are two large cities. The newer capital with a lot of modern things you would see in other modern cities. The old capital, which is still kind of the cultural capital in a way. Historically, Kazakhstan is this huge landlocked country south of Siberia. The Russians sent a range of people to camps during the times of the USSR. So you do have a smattering of people with Korean, Polish, German, etc. mixed in with their Kazakh. The point about people being Muslim reminds me of a funny story where a imam and researcher went to a Muslim part of the Soviet Union during the days of Glasnost and when he met some other Muslims they suggested vodka to celebrate meeting a foreign Muslim. Just for the record, this isn't a Russian thing. Central Asia has always had alcohol in their culture. The steppe peoples have been making and drinking alcoholic beverages, notably milk-based ones, rather than fruit-based like wine or starch-based like beer since before they were Muslim, and they still do today. It's a good reminder that religion is a lot more malleable to culture than the hard line, orthodoxy, you usually get told is, the way, a given religion works. Fuck me, kumis. I thought that would be delicious, having been lauded as a, milk champagne, nope. A true white Russian. Just last month Aaron Atabek died, being political prisoner in Kazakh prison for 14 years. Released shortly before, in condition resembling survivors of Holocaust. Image following prison release, political system is very far from just, protesters still end up in jail and with made-up charges brought upon them in courts. Even this change is just something that looks good and is easy, distracting from all the bad that still lays there. OMG that's horrifying. I have to imagine Kazakhs must get hella salty whenever their culture gets reduced to lines from Borat don't hate on me. I couldn't care less because that movie is awesome. I'm just looking at it through their eyes. They have since leaned into it. Lol that's a 180. Very nice. High five. Criminals instead make Paul plow. Like my wife. You will never get this. Lululala. My wife. She dead. Hunter shoot her in field. Mistake her for bear because she has hair on arms, face, everywhere. I've been to Kazakhstan a few times for work and I've enjoyed every trip. I never feel like I have to be super cautious or look over my shoulder. There are other cities that I love, Buenos Aires, Mexico City, Barranquilla, even Santiago, where I keep a wary eye and know that wandering down a poor choice in streets could spell trouble. Kazakhstan feels like it is on the upswing and I am eager to see how they develop over my lifetime. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.